down through your motorman. You get, you get off the car, the conductor moves up the motorman, and another person comes on. Yeah, they, they, I know what you mean. Get out of here. We're going out of way. Get out of the way. Drop the enemy. Hold on. Hold on. Where's Fred? One. Where's Fred?
over fifty thousand dollars worth of work there. Rosen and Electric Company did a lot of the interconnect work for us. Peninsula Crane and Rigging moved the cars around when we had to move them around and lifted the poles up and that sort of thing. Comstock uh, Construction Company did the very, very esoteric electrical work on the copper wire, the power wire, and so on. And of course, the city of San Jose's inspectors came down here and helped us an awful lot with inspection and, and guidance on the, uh, on the interconnect. California Engineering put the rail down for us. They, uh, they did it a couple of times, in fact. <laughs> uh, Union Pacific gave us the rail. Santa Clara County Engineers and Architects gave us a lot of help. Gibson Hill Incorporated and, and uh, Brero Engineering Construction Company. McCormick and Baxter helped us with a lot of the time. Race Construction did the trench. Granite Rock did the uh, brought the rock in for us. This is a special kind of rock, ballast rock. And many, many, many more. Special thanks go to Mignon Gibson and the members of the uh, of the uh, construction or the corporation that runs the uh, historic museum here. Mignon and her board of directors and docents have been a while all the dust has been blowing around has been very understanding. But I've only touched the the edge of the uh, the envelope on all the people that helped put this together. I want to especially thank uh, Jim Redding and his staff over at the Transportation Agency. Towards the end, we needed some technical advice on how to put things together and make, making sure that everything was exactly perfect. And he uh, had some of his uh, electronic geniuses come over here and, and uh, guide us through the process a couple of times. We might have taught them a few things, too. <laughs> but, uh, without their help, we wouldn't have made the deadlines. And many, many, many more people came down and, and uh, were of great help. I think, though, it's, it's time to stop talking. And the honor of, uh, of christening the car goes to our master car builder. Fred Bennett is the person who has been the heartthrob and the heartbeat of this process uh, since we brought him into the uh, area from the East Coast where he has worked on rebuilding trolley cars all of his life. Fred's been here since the project began, and the project board voted to have him christen the car with a bottle of champagne across the, the drawbar. So, Fred, if you'll do us the honor. I love that everybody got in front of me at the critical points. I got somebody's backside instead of Fred's <laughs> crash. <laughs> right. He walked right in front of me. <laughs> I hope I got him. I don't know. I hope so because I was so frustrated. I had it all shot. He was perfect and somebody walked right in front. Oh, no, couldn't you kill him? I know. I always try to look when I'm walking and then mm -hmm. I duck down yeah, or around uh -huh. or something. I, um, I thought it was wonderful the way he was stumbling around over and the um, time. He right over we are, yeah. Was, uh, Excuse me.
wire really needs to be elevated up to the tree. Can't believe this is happening, Lewis. I can't believe it. <laughs> Yes, sure. sir. You guys all ready for another death defying trip at 20 miles an hour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Irresponsible. You're fine right there. You're fine right there. 